Hello viewers. Today we will discuss the art and science of cooking. What is cooking? Cooking or cookery is the art, technology and craft of preparing food for consumption with the use of heat. Cooking techniques and ingredients vary widely across the world. From grilling food over an open fire, to using electric stoves, to baking in various types of ovens, reflecting unique environment, economic and cultural tradition and trends. The ways of types of cooking also depend on the skill and type of training an individual cook has. Cooking is done both by people in their own dwelling and by professional cooks and chefs in restaurants and other food establishments. The objective of this module are to know more about the types of cooking. We shall discuss how to learn different cooking techniques, to enhance the preparation of food, to understand the different steps in food production, to make effective use of leftover food, to know about the techniques to keep the food last longer. Technique staff number, time taken, product quality. By using knife for peeling, removing and chipping, the number of staff required would be four and would take about an hour. And the product quality would be uneven surface and thickness of chips. While by using hand peelers, which requires two number of staff, one hour, it, the product quality would be smoother and even more thick. But in the case of electric peeling machine, which requires one person, it would take about 40 minutes. The chips would be smooth, even, better in color because there is less exposure to air and therefore less browning. Techniques for cooking. The most important techniques for any cooking are plan menus with different dishes which require different temperatures so they can be placed on different shelves of the same oven is a time saving technique for meal preparation. Plan for dishes which require different methods of cooking in one meal. Use power equipment where possible to keep fatigue and anxiety to a minimum like steamers, kitchen machines, ovens, etc. Some people use modular equipment which can fit into the refrigerator for storage, into the oven for cooking and the bain mary for holding prior service. This not only time saves but also decreases the volume of dishwashing. This list of techniques can be extended to the activities and needs of individual establishments. Let us see few examples of certain techniques to reduce time and effort for greater efficiency. Preparing chips by using 10 kg potatoes. The different techniques used are knife, hand peelers and electrical peeling machine. The observation from the above table revealed that using the third technique reduces time of preparation as well as the number of people to do the job. One and a half time more potatoes can be chipped in one hour using an electric peeler. Rolling dough for 200 puris. Technique, number of staff required, time taken, product quality. In the traditional way of preparing puris, cutting dough into 200 equal portions and to make them into a ball, rolling ball into rounds, then heating oil in a kadai and deep fry for two at a time. It would require two people, two and a half hours, and the product quality would be the evenness of the rolling would depend on the experience and practice of the staff. Some may not be puffy fully due to uneven rolling. The second method would be prepare dough in the traditional way. Use puri maker to make balls into rounds. The staff required would be two, the time required would be one hour and the quality of the product which gives an evenly rolled and expected to be puffed fully. What are presentation techniques? Presentation technique is the art of modifying 
processing, arranging or decorating food to enhance the aesthetic appeal. Presentation is someone's first impression of a meal. An attractive and appealing appearance stimulates the desire to taste the food. Key elements. Color is always very important in food. Using two or three colors on a plate are more interesting than one. Serving beetroot and radish salad, tomato and onion salad are extremely attractive in color contrast. Shape. Plan for a variety of shapes and forms. Cut vegetables into different shapes. For example, carrots can be cut into dice, rounds or sticks. Texture must provide a variety of texture to add interest to the meals. Arrangement. The food must be kept off the rim of the plate. Keep space between the items. Maintain unity. Keep the arrangement simple and attractive. Garnish. Garnish should add color, texture, taste and interest on the plate. It should be simple. Place the food in the most attractive manner. Focus should be on the center of the plate. Food production is the process of transforming raw ingredients into prepared food products. It requires the purchase of high quality food, initial storage and holding an optimum temperature. Food production encompasses the preparation of large variety of items ranging from appetizers or starters to curries, roasts, sandwiches, snacks, salads, vegetables and beverages. For each type of item, certain skills are required and different methods of processing are required to produce different effects. Steps in food production. There are basically five steps in food production. Production requires planning, a proper production schedule, methods of production, standardization of recipe, holding techniques. Production requires planning. Production planning starts with the menu and the number of members to be served food. Service such as in hospitals, college, food service, residence hall, the number is known and a pattern of meals by day and by meal usually develops. Whereas in the case of cafeteria, the number is variable from day to day. Recipes should be adjusted to the predicted number of servings required. Standardized recipes are essential for production of quality of food. Production schedule. Scheduling requires careful planning efficient use of employee time and a minimum of production problems. Scheduling requires knowledge of the steps through which a product must go and the time required for each as well as the steps that can be completed early without affecting the quality of the food. In scheduling the cooking of foods, allowance must be made for the time required for heat to penetrate the large masses of food. Planning beforehand helps to distribute workload evenly and ensures employee satisfaction. Methods of production. The variety of processes are involved in production of food for service. The preparation may be as simple as washing and displaying the food such as fresh fruit. Production involves cooking, chilling and freezing processes or a combination of these. Cooking is based on principles of physics and chemistry. The property of many ingredients used in food production cause reactions of various types. Heat is the factor that causes many reactions to occur resulting in the final product. Heat is transferred in three ways. Conduction, convention and radiation. Conduction. Transfer through direct contact from one object to another substance. Convention. Distribution of heat by movement of liquid or vapor. Radiation. Generation of heat energy within an object by wave action. For example, infrared boiling and microwave. Electromagnetic waves penetrate the food and agitate water molecules and friction created from this agitation produces heat. 
Heat is the factor that causes many reactions to occur resulting in the final product. Cooking methods. Moist heat, simmering or stewing, blanching, braising, poaching, boiling. Dry heat, roast, baking, frying, broiling. Factors to be kept in mind while preparing the food. Thermostatic control. Standardized recipes should state the temperature and time for different items including the end temperatures. Food thermometers help in maintaining desired temperature during cooking. Remember, it's your responsibility to provide the training and the tools your staff needs to monitor time and temperature. They need to learn what to do, how to do it, why it's important and if necessary, what corrective action to be taken. Along with training, provide thermometers and temperature logs for successful monitoring. Carry over cooking, sometimes referred to as resting, is the phenomena that food retains heat and continues to cook even after being removed from the source of heat. Hot air cooks the outside of the food. The outside of the food cooks the inside of the food by conduction. When we remove the meat from the heat, it continues to cook because the heat built up in the outer layers of the meat continues to be passed towards the center. We must keep this in mind while cooking to prevent overcooking. Batch cooking. Estimated quantity is divided into smaller quantities, placed in pans ready for final cooking or heating and then cooked as needed to prevent leftovers. Product yield. Yield is the amount of produce resulting at the completion of various phases of procurement, production, service cycle and is expressed as a definitive weight, volume or serving size. Portion control. Essential controls in food production, achievement of uniform serving sizes, important for cost control and customer satisfaction. Purchase of food should be to specifications. Development of standardized recipes and their use. Knowing size and yield of all pans, ladles, dish helps to use appropriate equipment, tools and consistent size can be maintained. Counting prices, slices, scale help in weight control. Standardization of recipe. Recipe standardization means tailoring of a recipe to suit a purpose in a specific food service operation. This is the most important responsibility of the production supervisor. Standardized recipes are essential for quality control in food service operations, cost control. Repeated testing should be done to ensure that the product meets the standard of quality and quantity that has been established by the management. Holding techniques. Every food service establishment requires holding prepared food for varying periods of time before it is served. This is necessary as all foods cannot be prepared quickly to be served on demand and all customers do not come at the same time. Holding temperatures for different foods. Item and temperature. Meats and main dishes at 59 degrees to 64 degrees Celsius. Hot beverages 85 degrees Celsius to 88 degrees Celsius. Sauces 64 degrees to 81 degrees Celsius. Salads 4 degrees Celsius to 7 degrees Celsius. Frozen deserts minus 3 to minus 9 degrees Celsius. The basic principle underlying holding of food are to maintain them at a temperature which prevent microbial activity and ensure their safety for consumption. Food must be held above 63 degrees or 5 degrees. Holding techniques must maintain the quality characteristics of food such as quantitative, sensory and nutritional. Foods prepared too early and thus held too long tend to lose their moisture and shrink because of constant heat applied to them. 
This affects the color, texture, flavor and size of the portion. Therefore, batch cooking can be adopted. Food production system. Food may be produced in quantity in different ways depending upon the policy, size and type of catering establishment. There are three types of food production systems. Conventional, convenience, ready food system. Conventional food system. Nowadays, the conventional food service system is most common due to the current operating environment. Food is produced totally from raw ingredients, processed on the premises prior to the service. In this system, all fresh food is ordered in a manner that is, it is delivered directly to the kitchen or stored only for a day or two in the refrigerator storage. It requires less storage space for food than in other systems. Most small catering establishments and institutional kitchens follow this system in India. Convenience system. In this method of food production, some of the food and ingredients used are brought pre-prepared or pre-proportioned from the markets. Items like soups, noodles, marinated chicken, tandoori items, which only require finishing at the time of service while other items may be completely ready to serve, not require processing at all, which include ice creams, sauces, salad dressing, fruit, yogurts, and sweets. This system requires less preparation equipment, space, energy, and even staff. But the ready food purchased are costly and require expensive cold and freezer storage facilities with much storage space. It is used mostly by large hotels and multi-outlet food preparation centers. Ready food system. The production of food is done continuously every day. The system involves preparation of food into ready portions of individual food items or cooked dishes which are then sealed and chilled, frozen and stored for use as and when required. Today, ready Indian dishes like chana, curry, matar, paneer, pulao, sambar, rice, Jaipur vegetables, Kashmir, spinach and other representing the specialities of different regions are now marketed in ready-made pouches ready to be reheated, opened and served on demand. The greatest advantage of the system are that the quality and cost can be better controlled and excess handling of food at the point of use is prevented. Whatever system is adopted in an establishment, the basic process of food production remains the same. Food and ingredients are bought and then used for preparing the dishes directly for service, chilled and frozen for future use. In the fast food services, the convenience and ready food systems are used to some extent. Some large hotels have their own ready food systems. It requires large investments and depend heavily on electricity for food preparation and storage. Ready prepared food systems. Food production, store, frozen, hot, chilled, heat. Serve to customers. Food production process. The process of food production involves several activities which includes collecting the ingredients, weighing and measuring them to standard recipes, preparing different foods to make them ready for cooking, cooking and dishing out for service, collecting ingredients. Collect some items from the store while others are delivered directly to the kitchen like milk and milk products, fresh fruits and vegetables. Timely collection of ingredients will make early preparation next morning without wasting time. Perishable foods can be stored for one or two days. Semi-perishable foods can be stored for some weeks to one, two months. Whereas non-perishable food can be stored longer as compared to perishables and semi-perishables. You can also change a perishable foodstuff to a semi-perishable or non-perishable one by giving it some treatment. For example, if you boil milk and refrigerate it, you can keep it for few days. Weighing and measuring. 
Success in food preparation depends on the correct number of ingredients in the recipe. The only way to get the correct amount is by weighing or measuring each ingredient. It is very important to weigh and measure ingredients accurately. Standard recipes are necessary for producing food in large quantities. Preparation of foods All foods should be prepared to some extent before they can be used immediately, stored, cooked or served. The process of preparation generally involves activities like peeling, paring, cutting, grating, grinding, washing, sprouting, mixing, serving and so on. Methods of fo and forms of preparing different foods to offer variety in textures. Meat. The form of meat may be prepared for cooking various with the cut and type of meat. Meats may be cut into various sized pieces to suit the dish. The various procedures cause so many changes in texture and flavor. It also means by adding a variety to the dish. Fish. It is generally frozen. It is coated with breadcrumbs to be kept ready for frying or grilling. Or it may be prepared into fish fingers, cutlets or cut into small pieces for preparation of curries. Vegetables. These may be prepared in the number of varieties. Vegetables can be prepared as a whole, plain or stuffed as required. They may be chopped into various shapes and sizes. The preparation of vegetables is of three types. Leafy vegetables, root vegetables and other vegetables. Leafy vegetables. These are prepared on the same day of meal service. It contains high amount of moisture and easily shriveled up when prepared. Few are used as herbs and garnishes in preparation of sauces and chutneys. Few are used in preparation of curries. In large food establishments, green leafy vegetables are lightly steamed, cooled, packed and frozen for use when required. This is a handy way to preserve their color and flavor. Root vegetables. Root vegetables which fall are under the soil. These are resilient and can be used for chopping, peeling, grating, slicing and shaping, which are much better than other vegetables. The most commonly used root vegetables are potatoes, onions, carrots, garlic, beetroot, etc. Other vegetables. This group includes stem vegetables like lotus, banana, pumpkin, brinjols, beans, cucumber, drumstick, tomatoes and flowers of plants like water lily, banana flowers, lady fingers, salad, vegetables, etc. These are used to prepare to be prepared as stuffed vegetables. This can also be used to make decorative salads or garnishes. Food production techniques. Whatever method of cooking is chosen for the preparation of food, certain techniques can be developed through knowledge and experience to help in utilizing available resources more efficiently for food production. Effective use of leftovers. Whenever one hears the term leftovers, people think that the food may be stale, but this is not true. Leftovers therefore need to be looked at positively as ingredients stored at right temperature for a short period of time before use. There are three classes into which leftovers can be divided in the catering establishment. Raw foods, partly prepared, cooked food. Partly prepared food. These include marinated meats, paneer or other foods, unserved salads in refrigerators, juices, boiled eggs, fermented mixtures as dough and batter and so on. These can be creatively used as barbecued meats with vegetables added on before cooking. Small amounts of juices can be used for custard shakes, puddings and cakes. Cooked food. When food remains unsold in large quantities, it usually gets wasted through mishandling and spoilage. Since already cooked food cannot be stored for too long, 
it should be reused in some way and presented to the customer again soon after. Tandoori chicken. Some ideas for its use are discussed. If the chicken is in bone form, the possibilities are it can be used in chicken salad, can be converted into curried or buttered chicken, chicken biryani or fried rice. In deboned form, the chicken may be utilized in the following ways. Minced and mixed with binding ingredients, shaped into chicken balls or fingers and deep fried to be served as a snack. Make balls which may be used as curries with noodles or other pasta dishes and served as a main or side dish. The chicken can be minced and converted into a sandwich spread. Can prepare chicken stew, chicken soup with sweet corn. It can also be used in preparation of pizzas, pulaos, stuffed parathas or samosas. Vegetable pulao. This can be converted into vegetable balls or bondas, cutlets or tikis used as snacks. Koftas, generally used in Indian cooking, can be mixed with white sauce and covered with cooking cheese and be baked in the oven. Curd. It is used to prepare the following. To marinate meats, fish, poultry and cottage cheese. Used to make gravies for curry preparation. Used in preparing doughs which need to be fermented for making naan. Fried puris called bhaturas. Fermented breads, lassi, curd rice and raitas. Tomato onion salad. Firstly, separate the tomatoes and onion slices which can be incorporated into dishes as an ingredient or used to garnish. Few suggestions for the use are soups, curries, sauces, pizzas, stuffed omelets. These days, modern equipments are available to prepare food which reduces the effort, time, labor and cost, which gives a good quality product. A variety of cooking techniques will automatically add a variety of textures to the presentation. Today, several ready-to-eat foods are available in the market which are prepared and then stored for use when required. A great way to add creativity to leftovers is to reuse it in a different way. In large food establishment, when there are extra portions left over, they can be given to social institutions like homes for handicapped orphanages, old age homes, etc. Food production thus involves stringent measures and close supervision at every step to ensure that the food obtained, prepared, held and served is wholesome and safe for consumption. Thank you viewers.